Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just want to say a massive thank you for everybody tuning in on this video and do you know what? You are actually in for a treat. This trick is so good. It's so fooling. All you need is a normal deck of cards, a borrowed shuffle deck and you can blow anybody's mind. Don't get me wrong, there is a bit to learn in this trick but don't let that put you off. So all that being said, let me show you the performance and see what you think. Okay, so here is the trick, guys. So what's going to happen is you give the cards to the spectator to mix up the cards as much as they wish. And trust me, guys, that's not a very good shuffle. It is a truly random shuffle by the spectator. Okay, so let's say the spectator has mixed the cards up. And you're going to ask your spectator to go ahead and point to a card. So let's say they point to this one. So hopefully you guys can remember that. You can see the card right here. Hopefully you can. I'm going to leave it sticking out in the center. I'll give you a quick shuffle as well. Just like so, nice and fair. And one more for luck. So you remember a card, guys, which I have no idea of what the card is. And you're going to ask your spectator to cut the card anywhere they wish, like they do. You tell them to pick any packet up. Let's say they pick this packet up. You tell them to shuffle this, cut these cards as much as they wish. Okay, and it's a true, it is a real proper shuffle. I'm not actually lying. This is a truly random shuffle. You tell them to deal the cards and stop whenever they want. So, for example, let's say they do this and stop here. <laughs> you, you do get that. You do get that. And if you've never had that done before, then you're lying. Like, I've, I've said to people, deal the card and deal one card. But they've stopped here, okay? What, what is it? It's a seven. Seven of hearts. It doesn't matter about the suit. It's the value. We're going to count down seven cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh card should be, in fact, their selection. The three of clubs. Everything is from a shuffled, borrowed deck, guys. This is so strong, and this will fall late. It might even fool you, because there's no setup whatsoever, and this always works. So... All that being said, let me show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here is the tutorial, guys. So, yes, it's a normal shuffle deck of cards, but unfortunately, there's quite a bit to remember, but we'll go through that in just a second. So, what's going to happen is you need to control a card to the seventh position. Let me show you how that works. So, someone's going to pick a card, okay, a very easy way, get a break, okay, and just cut the cards to the top so that selection goes to the top. I'm sure you guys can do that very easy. When that card is at the top, you're going to shuffle six cards from the face to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. So now that card is in position seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very, very easy. So let me do that at speed. Please pick a card. Do you remember the card? Yep. So I'll give these a quick shuffle, just like so. Done. So now I shuffle that card to the seventh position, which is a seven as well. So now you're in this position, okay, this way it can get a little bit tricky. So you tell them to cut the card anywhere they wish, and they can choose a packet, which is true, but it's not true. So let me tell you what I mean. You say, go ahead and choose any packet you wish. If they choose the packet with the seven, or their selection in, because their selection's at seventh position, if they choose this packet, then you tell them to hold on to the packet. Say, I don't want to get there, you hold on to the packet. If they choose this packet, okay, I say, take the cards and mix them up. I don't pay any attention to this, okay? And again, remember the cards are position seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just remember that, guys. So, again, I say, go ahead, uh, choose a packet, any packet you wish. You want this one? Brilliant. Hold on to that packet so I can't get to it. If you've got another spectator here, I say, look, take them, give them a quick shuffle. They will mix the cards up. So now, here it is. This is where it gets complicated. So, it all depends on what card they choose. Okay? So, if they choose a 6, 7, 8, or 9... There's going to be a dealing sequence, okay? So let me show you. So let's say they deal the cards and they stop here, okay? 
because it's lower than a six, okay, it's a very low card, we don't say the value, we just mention the suit. So it's a diamond. If you spell diamonds here, with, their, with the packet in their hands, D-I-A-M-O-N-D, -A -A -D, diamond, the card's going to be there, okay? Let's say they choose a six, beautiful. If you get a six on a seven, then the trick looks even better. That's the best outcome. So you count six, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're taking the seventh card, okay? If they choose seven, if that was a seven, you just deal seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? If they choose, if that was an eight, okay, you do them in two, so you go two, four, six, eight, okay? There we go. If they choose nine, you deal them in three, so you go three, six, nine. So they're, they're the only easy one, they're the easiest ones. So if it's, if it's a six, you deal six cards and the selection's at the seventh. If it's a seven, you just deal seven cards. If it's an eight, you deal them in twos, like two, four, six, eight. And if it's a nine, you're gonna deal them in three. So three, six, nine, and the card's gonna be there, okay? So let me put that in the correct position. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's say then, you don't choose a six, seven, eight, or nine, okay? We spell with the suits. So, hearts, okay? So let's say they get this one. You don't mention the 10, you just mention the hearts, okay? So hearts has a value of six letters, okay? H-E-A-R-T-S. The seventh card is the selection, okay? If they choose clubs, clubs is the only tricky one, okay? Clubs is probably the hardest one out of them all. Because you have to get a break on the three cards, okay? Get a break on the three, but then you're going to deal the first card, keeping this break here. And you're going to go uh, C. This is going to be two cards now. L, U, B, S. Clubs. The seventh card is going to be the clubs, okay? And same, uh, spade, that is going to be seven letters. So make sure I'm in correct position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So spade is S-P-A-D-E-S. -E Boom. Okay. And that is it, guys. You just have to know at top of your head straight away where, what to do. Okay. So we're going to go for a little test. So if I deal the cards and I do this, what do you do? So do you spell diamond, or because it's a six, you can spell six. What do you think we do? If you said we count six cards, that is correct. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the cards can be in the seventh position. Okay? So remember, if it's anything lower than a six or higher than a nine, you go on the suits. So let's do that again. So let's just say they deal, and they stop here. What do we do? It's a nine of spades. Do we spell spades or do we go for the nine? It really doesn't matter with this example because it's a spade or a nine, but I would just do nine. So I would go three, six, nine, and the card's going to be there. Okay, we're going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do it just so you feel comfortable and confident. And this is how you practice it as well. So when you deal the cards, you go, right, what is it? What was it? What is it, guys? Let's go. They'll say, is it, do we go clubs, C-L-U-B-S, or do we count six? For me, I would count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think I've got too many cards. No, not seven. Sorry, that's seven card. Let's say you do this one. What do we do there? If you said... We spell hearts, that is correct. H-E-A-R-T-S, the seventh card is hearts. What are we going to do here? Well, we've done nine of clubs already, haven't we? So I'm not going to do that one again. 
Six. We've done the six. You know what to do with a six. A three of diamonds. So to do this, I, like I said, if that happens and there's, it's a three of diamonds, I will say, do you want to carry on? Do you want to keep this card or do you want to carry on? Because if you do carry on, you could hit a six, seven or eight. So it looks better. But if they say, no, I want to stick here. I'll go, we've got a diamond. So we've actually spelled diamond. D-I-A-M-O-N-D. Boom. Their card. So hopefully this is sinking in now. Okay, we've done a queen, That we've done that. We've done too many sixes. Okay, eight of clubs. What do we do, guys? If we've got this card, they stop anywhere they wish. Would you count eight cards, as in in twos? Would you do two, four, six, eight? Or would you want to faff about getting the break on the three cards and then dealing the first one single, then the second one a double? No, you won't want to do that. So if it's an eight, okay, of clubs, for this example, just do two, four, six, eight. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that was a postman who just came in. Uh, the next one, again, okay, three of hearts. What you're going to do? Yes, you know it's lower than a six, so you're going to uh, count, uh, uh, spell hearts, H-E-A-R-T-S. So... What you want to do, guys, is just carry on doing this. Just carry on. You don't even have to do that. So what you could do is just go, right, I, I, I'd spell hearts. I'd spell diamonds. I'd spell diamonds. I'd spell spades. I'd count seven because it's in position seven. Two is, I'd do spades. Spell spade. Five, because it's a diamond. I will do, because it's lower than the six, I would spell diamonds. Spell spades. Nine of spades. You can either spell spades or count for it three times. So go three, six, nine. Do that with the cards. Get that into your memory. I know I've probably gone over this way too much, but you do need to know this information just so when it happens and you do it, you know exactly what to do. But that, my friends, is a tutorial of the effect. Okay, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the intro, there is a lot to remember, okay? Knowing from the six, seven, eight, or nine, what to deal, when to deal, but it's a bit like muscle memory. After you've done it a few times, you will be absolutely fine. It's not the hardest trick in the world. It's just remembering what to do at a certain card. If you spell clubs or count six, just do what I showed you. Go over it a few times, and honestly, you will get it so quick. You'll be, you'll be quite surprised how quickly you will get this. Anyway, you know what to do, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn the notification bells on. And if you want more content like this, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next time.